If they give you a set of data and ask you to set up a frequency table, all they're asking you to do, let's say these represent data from certain scores, is set up a table that records those scores into groups of frequencies, right? So perhaps what you might have is one column with the score ranges. They'll probably just put the word score, and then they'll put ranges down, like 121 to 140 and 141 to 160. Notice they're going up by groups of 20 here, right? If you count each number 121 all the way to 140, that's 20 numbers, right? 121, 122, and so forth. And then I count 161 to 180, 181 to 1, oops, to 200, and then 201 to 220. All right, so that's one column. Now in the other column, we put the frequency. Right? How often do we get scores in each of these ranges? So we write that something like the number of games or something like that in, in this other column. So how many times have, do we get a score between 121 and 140? Well, only once because, well, there's only one score within that range. That's 140. And then 141 to 160, how many times does that happen? So I scan these scores, and I notice that it does not happen at all, so I skip that category. 161 to 180, well, I have 1, 2, right? So you, I, I'll circle them. 1 and 2, and that's it. So I'll put two dashes. How many from 181 to 200? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then there are two left, which fit in the last category. And that would be your frequency table. If you find that there are lots and lots of data that fit into each range, avoid tally marks and just write the number. All right, thanks.